Hi there, it's uh, Tim Dolan at uh, the, uh, well, of the American University of Kurdistan uh, here in the Kurdistan region of northern Iraq. And um, while my uh, previous episode uh, highlighted some personal disappointment and uh, kind of a, uh, you know, crisis of uh, being here, I've uh, also can report, I think, some um, better news in terms of the institution which I'm affiliated with and uh, some positive developments there. Uh, one of the things that I've come to do uh, when I have entered a new organization is to try to identify the centers of power. Uh, they are not always as reflected in an organizational chart. And uh, when I first came, the very first day uh, that I arrived at the American University of Kurdistan, pulling into the parking garage on the um, university provided uh, van who picked up the new faculty for their first day uh, on campus, um, I noticed in the parking garage in the slot opposite us a brand new Jaguar, uh, which I uh, then queried, you know, who's, uh, whose is this? And I was informed that it's the finance director's car. So th to me that was a tell. Uh, these kinds of things uh, indicate a certain uh, status. Now in the Middle East, of course, as in uh, many places, um, particularly outside the United States, frankly, um, one's car reflects a kind of badge status. And uh, it's a big deal uh, within given cultures uh, to have a, uh, an automobile that reflects a certain uh, higher level. Uh, so here, here we had this. And then subsequently, uh, over the next few months, it's um, been kind of a confirmation to me that uh, both the uh, finance director and his spouse, who is the HR director, uh, are definitely powers. And uh, it didn't help to know that the uh, HR director is related to someone quite close to the prime minister's office uh, within the Kurdistan regional government. Um, so we have all of that going on, which led to my fears that um, these were the, tr the true centers of power and that our um, American former diplomat president, uh, his assistant, and the provost are uh, occupying more figurehead figures than holding actual power in terms of determining where the university was going in terms of policy practice and the like. Well, subsequently, in just, uh, frankly, the last couple of days, uh, we have had an advisor to our accreditation um, process. We are looking to get American accreditation, which uh, would be certainly under threat under the current uh, practices of the university under the uh, finance director and the uh, HR director. Um, I don't think I'm being too strong in saying they, uh, they don't have the competence to run a, a university. They don't come from that background and uh, they have not reflected anything positive uh, in regard to moving the university mission forward. And I'll just leave it at that. So this is my fear. In a private conversation with uh, one of our consultants, though, uh, these concerns were voiced and uh, I was given some great reassurance that, first of all, the university is bringing in a brand new uh, chief operating officer who will have authority over, of course, these specific departments, uh, offices, administrative offices, and that uh, it's a very good person and it's a person uh, who does enjoy the confidence of the board of directors and that the board of directors is acutely aware of these issues regarding uh, those two respective offices. So all of this uh, bodes well, in my view, for the American University of Kurdistan and gives me some hope. And it gives me some sense of uh, wanting to be a part of that mission, uh, which was an area that I was beginning to despair over, frankly. So we'll see where things go. As I said, I'm kind of evaluating my status here, um, you know, between you and me um, on YouTube. Um, 
I don't really need the job, but I do enjoy working with startups. And there's a great upside to this enterprise. So um, I'm all for it, and I uh, want to contribute where I can. Uh, I have other concerns, but I can bring those up, uh, I think, with uh, some now assurance that we have a, a, an institution that can go somewhere. Okay, well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in, um, bringing this up. Take care, and uh, thanks again. Episodes to follow.